Here we go. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. It's Tuesday morning. I don't know. I heard it's going to be a hot one. Let me look up the temperature real quick. If you have just joined in, you have joined in to the Healthy Living by Renee. Channel on YouTube. Chicago Heights weather. All right, a high of 88. A high of 88 today. Still, it's going to be a great day. It's going to be a great day. Let me um, put post my information in. Let's see something here. Let's see. Let's post this in so Miss Lynn can come on in. Do, do, do. Hmm. Everybody's off to a good start this morning. Thank you for joining Healthy Living by Renee. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, share, comment, and always hit that like button. All right, I've just shared the link on both YouTube and Facebook. Look at Facebook. Yes. Look at you guys. Look at you guys. <laughs> yes. I love it. Makes me smile this early in the morning. Yes. Oh, there's Miss Lynn. I didn't even see you. Look Good at you. Morning. morning. How are you this morning? I am fine. How are you? When I got my sound turned down kind of low. <laughs> there it is. Yes. 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 So you feel good? Yes, feeling really good, feeling really solemn this morning. I um I went to sleep in prayer last night and uh, mm -hmm. went to sleep after a, a long kind of prayer and actually kind of teary eyed a little bit, you know, for the world. Yes. So, yes. So many people are just really stressed out. And um, the enemy has taken on just so many different faces. Um, families uh, in distress. Mm -hmm. um, I had to tell somebody last night, look, baby, what you arguing about is not what you mad about. Mm -hmm. You're just mad and you don't take it stress. out. Yeah, mm -hmm. stress. Don't take it out on people. You know, we got to identify what the, what the issue is here. Yes. And um, it's, it's um, the, the children of God have got to rise up. And we've got to take a voice. That's the voice that needs to be heard. Yes, yes, yes. Those, those who know the source of comfort, those who know the real source of peace. And so right. I pray really for the uh, Christians of this world to, mm -hmm. stand, to stand up and and announce to the world that we don't we don't have to bow down to this type of enemy. And um, we need to really get in our word, and I can't wait to um, get in and study this morning a little bit about injustice, about justice and love. I'm studying about Hosea. I'm still in the book of Hosea. I read that last night. I was reading that last night myself, the book of Hosea. Yes, how um, God had Hosea to marry a, a, a prostitute so that he could teach him um, what real love was about. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, real love is going above and beyond what what other people's issues are. It's just loving them and trusting God to handle the rest. Mm -hmm. So um, I really just really pray for the for the children of God, the pastors of this world to help the people by by reminding them that that God is the source of our strength. And we don't we don't war against people. We do not war against each other. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Bless you. That the uh, good morning, Susan. Good morning, Kiwana. It's a much Happy bigger, Tuesday. It's a much bigger picture. So um, I got a little running to do this morning. I'm gonna meet Miss Brown this morning. Awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. One of our students had something in, left in the classroom that he wanted. His mother wanted. So uh, I'm gonna pick that up and take it to the um, 
mother. Okay. And uh, I also got to turn my badge in. <laughs> you got to your what? Turn my badge. My, my, my. Oh, you got to turn your badge in. Yeah, I thought okay. I had turned it in. And, and then as I was um, putting things in place yesterday, I, I located it. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Miss Brown, she's still working. She working, isn't she? Yeah, you know, um, I, I I respect the position highly mm -hmm. that Miss mm -hmm. Brown is in. I do too. Yes, a lot of people blame her for a lot of stuff, but she has to follow directions too. You know, she's not the big boss. She has someone over her that's giving her directions. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, I respect all principals, all uh, guidance counselors, all of anyone who's in administration right now in the school system, because Miss um, Brown says it all the time. They are literally building the plane as they fly. It. Yes, I say that all the time in my videos. Yeah. That's what the superintendent says: building the plane, flying the plane, and building it at the, at same. the same time. But and they're doing an awesome job. They I are doing so. an awesome job. I think so. I think they're doing a good job. Yes. We're a little uh, flustered about timelines and, you know, we, we might not get the information, but 30 minutes before time to do something, but that's okay. <laughs> we got the information. Yeah. You know, and, and we just need to understand and be patient with them and give them the opportunity to get it done. And they want to do it right. So they won't have to come back and do it again. So uh -huh. it's, it's going to work. You know, we just got to be a little patient. It's gonna yeah. Work. And I admire the fact that, um, they, they're learning as we go, especially this virtual, uh, virtual uh, learning. Right. And they're not afraid to show us that they're and learning transparent too. Transparent to the fact yes. that you have yeah. to learn and we have to learn and they have to learn too. So it's, it's, um, it's, it's a, it's a change. I, and by I, them, and by them showing us and being transparent that they're learning, it challenges us to learn along with it too. They are challenging right. us to do the same. That's right. We still have a lot to learn with this technology. We still yes, have a lot to learn. Yes, we're we're having we're taking having to take a, a leap into a new technology. I was uh, telling a friend of mine, I said, baby, you might as well go and get you a phone that you can do Zoom on. You might as well put that other phone down. We're not oh, what is it? A flip phone? Yeah. A flip phone? Oh, it's not a smartphone. Let me just yeah. say that. I, I was like, you know, sweetie, um, yeah, we don't want to um Good morning, Victor patronize any particular can because you can get an android that does the same thing but mm -hmm. sweetie you go, you might as well take a flying leap into the future get you a phone that you know you can do zoom on that um you can see your family members because this, yes. this might be the only way you get to see them yes yes if there is violence in the street you can't run over grandma house Right. That's true. That's true. And grandma, and it's not difficult. I mean, if I can do it. If, um, <laughs> yes. you you can do it right? <laughs> yes. Set grandma up. Um, before my father passed, he was um, about 85. And I had an aunt. He had his only aunt who was in Phoenix, Arizona. And Aunt Elda B was 102 or 3. Okay. And we set the iPad up so that they could talk. They couldn't travel between Mississippi and Arizona. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. So, but yeah. they were able to see each other. And now we have pictures of my father talking to his aunt, who was 100 plus. On wow. Yes, and we thought that was awesome. Yeah. We can't, we can't be afraid of technology. That might be the only source we have to be with each other. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we need to mm -hmm. embrace it. We need to embrace it. That's what I was getting ready to say. We need to embrace that. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's a little scary, but we need to embrace it. Mm -hmm. The more I know about technology, the more I realize how much how much I do not know about technology. That's true. It's so it's so vast. So now get started. Now is the time to get yeah. some basic techniques in right. and get started. Go, hey, cuz no. Wait a minute. I gotta open up my cuz. He's not on the screen. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. That's that's my cuz there. I gotta open it up for my cuz. Wait a minute. I gotta open it up. 
I gotta open it up for you, Keith. Keith, I gotta open it up for you. <laughs> Let me see. Did it show? Oh no, his wait a minute. No, it's not. There it is. He on the screen now. I see him. You see it? Let me post it. Here he is. What do you got up here? You got the um break of a new day. Yes, it is. Isn't it beautiful? Dawn of a new day. Yes. Isn't it beautiful? Now what yes. who could have who could have created that? Nobody but a God we serve. Yes. Nobody. Yes. That, didn't, that didn't accidentally happen. Right. Right. That mm -mm. is a beautiful, beautiful uh, scene there. Mm -hmm. I love those those type moments. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. those type scenes. Uh, flying in airplanes. I like to look out the window at the clouds. Mm -hmm. Me too. I Me love too. To get up in the morning and see the sun come up and watch the birds on my on my lawn. Or um, we've got a woodpecker over here. Um, oh. I heard him one morning. <laughs> um, <laughs> he woke you up this morning. <laughs> yeah, I, I hadn't heard him anymore, but because I don't know if there if there are a lot of those in this area, but in Mississippi, we have a lot of woodpeckers. Wow. Yeah. You can hear them. They're loud. It's, it's Thumbs not up. Like a, yeah, it's not like a little. T -t 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 -t. No, it's back, 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 back. It's loud. Oh, like that? Yes, it's very loud. You can hear it, and uh, I love mm. to hear them. Uh, I love to occasionally come across an owl. Oh, uh, look who here! Look who here! Look who here! <laughs> That's my friend. That's my honey bunch. Uh, Rocky Ola. Yeah, that's hey, my honey bunch. Yeah, that's my. That's, uh, I don't want to take anything from his girlfriend, his wife, or, or his significant other because uh, I'm going to send him home every day after work. But that's my. <laughs> he is a good man, isn't he's he? A, he's he's everybody's man. work, honey. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. He, he has the most wonderful spirit. He oh, does. I love it. I love it. And we mm -hmm. work so well together. Yeah. And he's a good family man. He yes. is. Yes. He is. Yes. Yeah, Vince. I'm singing your praise. I'm praying. He says, hope that, yeah. Yeah. Hope that you are uh, safe too, Vince, you and your family, praying for yes. peace and safety. Yes. 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 So glad to see him. I, I miss him coming down the hall, oh. talking to us every morning. I miss him too. That's my bocce uh, partner. We hadn't been able to play bocce because we didn't have. He wasn't our PE coach. He wasn't our PE coach. So okay, last Sean year we your, were. Sean was your coach. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I like Sean too. They're both. Yeah, I like Sean too. Wonderful young men. Mm -hmm. Hitting me of of what a man should be, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because I think that, I think I heard like when all this pandemic first started, before the schools were actually closed and everybody was looking for toilet paper. Wasn't it Vince that was bringing in the toilet paper for everyone? Yeah, Vince gave me paper towels and toilet paper. He really did. He said he had yeah. a lot of it. Yeah, and uh, he, he shared with everybody and he said, oh, don't worry about it. I'll bring you some. You know, and he, he he's it's just a spirit of love. I think I have been so blessed. Mm -hmm. He said he played bocce last night. Yeah, that's what that's Vince would challenge me. Every when he was he was our classroom um PE coach, he would challenge me on bocce. And we played some bocce. Okay. Okay, y'all gotta show me how to play. It, um of course I'm uh I'm not a I'm not allergic to dairy because I'm legendary. Okay. <laughs> As the coach would say, right? Yes. Yeah, he, he tries to help. Yes. He does. He doesn't just try, he does it. And and it's in his heart. I love his love for sports. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Miss Vacant. They call me Miss Vacant. Is that what? Oh, is that what I was saying? Vacant. Now, what's what, how, how did you get that name? Well, there's a <laughs> that he's Vince says he'll show you. There's a sign on my classroom door. <laughs> 
that says vacant. And it stayed, oh. it stayed vacant all year. My classroom stayed vacant all year. And so they put a little French spin on it and said, that's Miss Vacant. Oh, okay. <laughs> Instead of, they, they never did put my, my, you know, everybody has, all the teachers have their names on their doors. Good morning. Oh, Susan. I say good morning, Susan. Yeah, all the teachers. Yes. Everybody. That's Susan. Susan. That's Susan. That's Miss Sue in our class. Oh, that's Susie. Yeah. Oh, that's Susie. Yeah. Well, Susie, is. you've been out here before. I've seen your name before out here, but I thought I saw it this morning, but maybe not. That's Miss Susie. Yeah, that Miss Sue that's in our class. Yeah, Miss Susie, come and share the screen. I know you got the capabilities. Vince has the capabilities too. I know it. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let me put the link down for you guys. Miss Sue says hi. Just come on out. I love it. I love it. Speed leveling up. See what I mean about this technology? <laughs> Speed leveling up is just awesome. Wait a minute. Hold on. What? I don't see my comments anymore. Let me do this. Wait a minute. You probably. Let me see. Hey, Miss Sue, we still going to get together for lunch. We're going we gonna to wait another day. Maybe maybe this Sunday we can get together. Yeah, that's Miss, that's Miss Susie with her uh, shades on. Ain't she looking Don't she look nice? Yeah. Yes. She looking yes. 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 Vince says she's French. Miss, Miss, uh, Vince says I'm French. Yes. Yeah. I'm a French person. Yes. Miss Susie Buck. saying no. No, you, Sue, you're not coming on. She said no. <laughs> she said no, no screen. <laughs> She's real good with the screens. That's why I know. And I know she has the capabilities as well. Yeah. So that's why I invite you, Miss Sue. And anybody else want to share the screen? Hey, feel free. We still need to say our prayer. Yeah, um, we're ready. Uh huh. I just want to um, pray this morning against violence of any type. Okay. against the enemy of violence. Um, there are young ladies and young men who are, are dealing with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Children who are dealing with um, violent adults who are taking advantage of uh, small children. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Sylvia. And um, I just want to pray against um, violence, period. She said she ain't gotten a shower yet. Like, we gonna know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the beauty of technology right yeah. Yeah, look, look like we gonna know i don't want you to see anything over here either <laughs> <laughs> yeah and my hair is a, you know it's just a matter of doing this and whoo go <laughs> <laughs> but um i just want to pray against balance period i want um the world to be able to really identify who the enemy is um, even last night, as I listened to some of the news reporters, they were saying that there are people who are coming in and, um, you know, ushering in violence, that the administrators, I mean, that the real protesters are protesting mm -hmm. in peace. Yes, exactly. Yes. Yes, they're protesting in peace. And that there are some other people who... Are not, you pe not people. Okay. Hey, Clarice. But other... Um, violent spirits that are coming in and trying to invade the peace and trying mm -hmm. to make people look bad. So we want to pray against that. Let us let us bow our heads in a word of prayer this morning. Um, Father God, we thank you for, for letting us arise this morning to such a wonderful day. We thank you, Father God, for this means of communication, uh, this YouTube channel this morning, Lord, where friends and family can come together and encourage each other. Thank you, dear Lord, for um, means of communication when our normal means of um, communication has failed us. We can't, we can't meet. We can't greet each other, but we can see each other, Lord, and we thank you for the technology. This morning, Lord, we pray against all types of violence in all aspects, Lord, verbal abuse physical abuse, mental abuse, 
we pray against it, Lord, right now. We, we pray that people will be able to find other choices, make other choices, find other ways, Father God, of expressing their anger and their hurt. Uh, we pray, Lord, over the um, politicians, Father God, that they will have find a, mm -hmm. a, a, a way, a willingness, a desire to come together and call us together for peace. Father God, we pray for those people whose hearts are broken. So many people, Lord, have broken hearts this morning. And we pray for those. And we pray for those families of people whose lives have been cut short. Some people's lives have been cut short physically. And some lives are cut short emotionally. Oh, we're so emotionally broken that we can't find a way to go on and live uh, victoriously in this life. And Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to live. And we thank you for your sacrifices. We thank you, Lord, that you allowed your son to die for us, Father God, so that we might have an uh, opportunity to hope and peace and eternal life. Thank you this day, Lord, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. His name. Amen. 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 Yes. Thank you, Miss Lynn. That was beautiful prayer. Yes, we um, pray against the violence. And we and I ask everybody, if you uh -huh. know someone who's going through something like that, to to please um be your brother's keeper. Be your uh -huh. brother's keeper. You may uh -huh. not have a solution for their problems, but just being there to listen may be um the only help that you can give. Miss mm -hmm. Sue said First Amendment rights. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we all got we all got a voice, but we mm -hmm. may not, some of us need to shut up. <laughs> we don't need to tell nobody what we think. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna uh I'm now I'm gonna uh get dressed and go meet me. I get started. Yeah, I just wanted to mention a couple things too, because I don't know if Sylvia's still out here, but she shared a picture with me. I didn't share it with you yet. But it's a picture, and and everybody that works with us, we we all work over by the DMV in Chicago Heights. But somebody tried to burn it down. Did you see that on the news? No, I didn't. Now have you? Yeah, so I'll send you that picture. The fireman over there trying to put the fire out. And why would you burn down the DMV? I mean, what does that have to do with the uh, Department of Motor Vehicle? Yeah, because some states it's called BMV, whatever. Yeah. DMV, whatever. You and, know. and Mississippi, yeah. it's the DMV, Department of okay. Motor Vehicles. Yes. Why mm -hmm. would you burn down, uh, connect burning down that building to yeah. speaking up about someone's death? I right. Mean, that, there's, there's no correlation. But, right. So, was it truly? Oh, so Su Susie's saying because it's part of the government. Oh. That's what I was thinking too. Part of the government. I mean, but everything is. How do we? I mean, the street sweepers, the garbage men, the uh, people who work on electrical—all of that's government. Yeah. You know, so how do we separate what to burn and what not to burn? And then how? All right. Is so gonna, how is this going to help? So this destruction is not all about uh, Mr. George Floyd. It's not all about him. No, I mean, not. people are living in shamefully, not in honor. What what happened to the honor? Yes, people are not living in honor. That's all. Yes, yes, they rather live in shame. That's what I'm saying. Um, Miss Renee, that's because we are so accustomed to being in that mode every day. Do you know how many people go to work angry every day? Mm, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. people would much rather deal with a familiar spirit than one that's not familiar. And believe mm -hmm. it or not, some people have lived in fear mm -hmm. and in uh, disgust and in shame for so long that they don't know how to transition from that spirit to one that is more healthy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. To a loving, forgiving spirit. It's because peace is so unfamiliar. Peace is 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 and love and hope is and, and that's really it's really crazy, you know, to think it that way. But yeah, it is. Um, I know people who get up and and they're angry every day, every day right. of their lives. They're so hurt, Miss Renee. That, that that gets me right here. You know, I wish I could just rain down medicine from heaven like God fed the children of Israel when they were in the wilderness for forty years. 
I wish I could rain down some medicine at night and give them some medicine all day to help us get over this, this anger and this hurt because there's so much life out there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. there's life in a sunrise. You know, I wonder about the uh, our coworkers now. Not, I'm not talking about my coworkers, your coworkers. I'm talking about general coworkers. You know, you had coworkers that come in, like you said, with that anger. And they, there are certain people they just did not like working with. And they treated those co-workers terrible. So bad. Yeah. Now that we're separated. Yeah. Now, where is that anger being dispersed? You're where right. is it being placed? You're right. Miss, Miss, Miss uh, Renee, you're hitting it on the, on the head. You know, like I said, what we're fighting about is not what we're mad about. Mm -hmm. What we're fighting about is not what we're mad about. Mm -hmm. And, um, it, it burdens my heart when people um, intentionally attack others in any form, in any form. Mm -hmm. Because if you've never been attacked, you don't know what that feels like. You know, True. If, True. Um, Steve Harvey says all the time, if you've never been homeless, you can't identify with it. Mm -hmm. You know, because just looking at it is something totally different. Uh, I'm going to give this example and I'm going to go um, living in Mississippi um, growing up. My first real venture out of Mississippi was to Denver, Colorado. Well, in Mississippi, we have some hills, mm -hmm. you know, and I, I would read in the Bible where God was when, you know, or sing songs, you know, when we say, Lord, move my mountain. I used to love those songs, you know, and, but I never knew what a mountain <laughs> looked like until I went to Denver. <laughs> Okay. okay. I was like, oh my God, is this what you're talking about? <laughs> you know, I only saw little uh, hills, Indian mounds, you know, but those things they got in Colorado, that's a, mm -hmm. that's, that's a real mountain. Mm -hmm. So until we can identify with others' real mountains, you know, or can, until we can identify with, um, be humane and just plain civil, just civil. Yes. Can't yes. Think of who that comedian is and say we fight for civil rights. You know, not just, and it's not just um, uh, African Americans. There are people of all races and national, and some Caucasians are mm -hmm. fighting for civil rights. Yeah. You know, um, they've been taught um, that this that things should be one way, and and they've got to be retaught. And yeah. um, it's up to those of us who know a true and a living God, whatever you call your God. I tell living people, God. Mm -hmm. yeah, I tell people all the time, you better have one that's living because if mm -hmm. you're dead, you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. But um, if you got a true and a living God, you know, um, I, I encourage you, I challenge you to stand up and let your voice be heard. Let mm -hmm. the voice of peace be heard. Let the voice of restoration be heard. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Don't let mm -hmm. the enemy come in and take over. But Miss Renee, you got me on the subject. I could talk about it all day. <laughs> okay. All right, Miss Flynn. All right. I know you got a busy day today. Yes. So I hope you get everything you need done, accomplished. I will. I will. It's going to be a really nice day. I think it's going to be a high 88. So I hope everybody gets a chance to get outside and enjoy their day. But I don't mean like get outside and, you know, know. be reckless. Okay, I'm not saying that. But get some fresh air. Yes, I will. Um, will. What is Clarice saying? Not driving through the mountains, but skiing in the mountains. Oh, wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, that's mm -hmm. a powerful statement, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I, I pray when, when my time is over in this world that I've been an instrument of peace. Um, I really want to be one of those people who, I don't I don't want it, my children to say, you know, mama died mad. Oh, yeah. You know, she died so hateful. She never really got in touch with the beauty of life and living. And uh, I pray I leave that legacy for my children. I'm not going to leave them any money. Ken, Ruth, and Billy, I'm going to spend all <laughs> What you say? Ken, <laughs> Ruth, and Billy. Gonna leave them some go, peace, your though. Your mama going to spend all her money. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
Don't even think about it. Don't okay. Even think about it. I'm going to leave you enough to take care of the funeral and to get you a new dress. And that's it. <laughs> that's it. All the children will be able to get something new to wear. But that's it. <laughs> I want you to do a graveside and go home and eat. <laughs> yeah, because mama going to spend her money. They're going to laugh about it later, but I ain't lying. I'm going to spend all of it. <laughs> you already know. Girl. You 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 already you know, know yes you do yeah, you already know you all of my I'm going looking for that camper right now that RV yes ma'am <laughs> yes ma'am you have a good day Miss Renee and bye bye all right everybody. you too bye Miss Lynn bye -bye. see you later see you tomorrow tomorrow same time yes ma'am bye 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 bye. All right, that was Miss Lynn putting a smile on everybody's face. Oh my goodness. All right, so today we got a high of 88. So we're going to go out. I don't know if it's going to be humid. What I want to do now is go out to Facebook and see what's going on out there. Let's see what's going on out, out there. Any celebrations going out? Ooh, oh, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I saw this picture on Facebook and I was saying how beautiful it is. But that's my old walking path. They're doing a uh, down memory lane there. But, um, hmm, what's going on? Let's see some celebrations. Here's Vince. Ooh, Vince. Vince was playing Bocce. He sure was. It's on Facebook right now, Bocce. I mean, uh, Vince. Bocce Vince. Vince Bocce. <laughs> Vince Rockiola. Maybe Vince uh, Bocciola. Uh Quarantine riots protesters. Don't have time for that. It's Bocce season. Oh, yeah. Bocce season. Let me show you a picture of uh, the Bocce field. Oh, See if I can get a good picture there so I can see what Bachi, the Bachi lanes. Yes. Yes. That's my Bachi partner right there. That's Vince Rockiola. Vince Rockiola. Hey, if anybody um, talks to Susan, uh, I mean, not Susan, uh, if anybody on here talks to Laura Zapparella, Zapparelli. Laura Zapparelli, please let her know that the video I'm getting ready to drop this morning will be in her honor. I'm dedicating it to her. She's out here all the time. Yes. Um, Lisa Goods is wishing her mom, Cassandra Jones, a happy birthday. That's right. Lisa Goods is wishing her beautiful and amazing mom a happy birthday. Awesome. Let me type in happy birthday. That's what takes me so long. Happy birthday, mom. Let's see. What else is going on? Who, who else do I see? Natalie Simone. Yes. Happy birthday to the one, my favorite. Love you heaps. And I pray you continue to have prosperity and a blessed life. She's... um. So happy birthday to I don't know how to pronounce this Michelle 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 White Michelle White from Natalie Simone Happy birthday Happy birthday Let's see um on my birthday eve someone's getting ready for the birthday eve that's Johnny Valentine on my birthday eve yes he's the type of guy he's going to celebrate his birthday for the week yes stay strong yes oh lisa good this is my son i gave him uh god gave him to me and i declare that no weapon formed against him shall prosper i cancel every assignment of the enemy i plead the blood of jesus over him and he shall live and not die and declare the works of the Lord in the land of the living and he will be successful. He will prosper prosper in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's Julian Goods. Yes. We're going to pray over our young and our 
our brothers, our brothers. Um, happy anniversary. Happy anniversary to Alicia and Brad. Happy anniversary. I'll write that in there. Happy anniversary. Go back and yes. I like that, Lisa. I'm going to have to do that for my son on Facebook. Yes. We're praying for Tawanda uh, Kreiner, who lost her father last night. Congratulations, Valencia Jones Moore, on your graduation. Happy sixth anniversary to Diane McIntosh Schaefer. Diane, Rick and Diane Schaefer, happy anniversary. Getting their yard work done. Yes. I'm going to be, I'm not going to be doing yard work this morning, but I will be doing some, um, some, um, uh, editing. I got a, a video that I'm editing now. I'm getting ready to release it. It should be up. Let's see what time by, hopefully by no later than 10 o'clock. That's how long it's going to take. Okay. Um, Happy birthday, Noah, from Cindy Lumberdozy. Happy birthday, Noah. Happy heavenly birthday to my auntie, Sissy. I wish you were here. I miss you so much. Helen Moxley. Dorita Carpenter is with Laverne Ford. Happy birthday. I pray that your day is all you've hoped for it to be and more. Enjoy this special day. We got a lot of birthdays. We got a lot of birthdays today. Yes. Carmen Lewis, shout out to my niece, Pooh, Christian McHale. Congratulations on getting your master's in physical therapy and passing your state board exam. Woo! Yes. Congratulations. Pamela Pulley, congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. Graduate special shout out to my beautiful cousin, Miss India Pulley. Highest respect, young lady. Yes. It's my cousin too. People are going back to work. They're starting to release the restrictions and people are now able to go back to work. We got people going back to work and preparing for that day. Oh, that's, uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. I'm going to say Ashley Diana. Okay, Trapnin, Trapnin, someone help me. Dolo is with Ashley Diana. I want to say happy C day. Now, I'm not sure if she meant B day, but my gorgeous girlfriend, you're so amazing. The stuff you do, you are a great mommy to our son. Love you so much. 
too. And I love you so much too, gorgeous. Awesome. What's on everybody's um agenda today? Okay, Tyrone. Um, not sure how to pronounce your last name, but Facebook family friends, please help me wish my goddaughter Monique happy birthday. Happy birthday. Janet Daniels, Janet Danielle, Janet Daniels wishing her sister-in-law a happy birthday. Yes, Angela Walker, yes. All right, so what do you guys have? What's good, Clarice, Clarice? Congratulations to all of the class, uh, the 2020 class, yes. Yes. Happy birthday to Glenn Crowner. And that's from Ricardo Wall uh, Wardlow. Wardlow. Vince Rockiola, Bachi Ball. Bachi Ball. <laughs> this has all these cool pictures of them playing bocce. He's actually on a team, a league, a bocce league. So he stays busy. Beautiful pictures, Ebony Lewis. Beautiful pictures of your family. Yes. Gorgeous. So, yeah, so I don't know if Trucker's Life is out there. You know, I was uh, saying last night about my garden on my video, I was talking about my garden because I kind of got some news from someone I admire and respect about, uh, you know, just yards and different things, gardening. And uh, he was just saying that the way my, my backyard is, it's too much. It's a lot of shade. So I don't know where I would put my garden. I don't know. If I put it too close to the fence or too close to the garage, then the um, the animals, the squirrels, the rabbits, they may have a field day on my, my fruit, my plants. So um, otherwise my backyard is kind of shaded. I, I live in an area that's an older neighborhood with those huge, huge, big trees. There's a tree in the backyard that is huge. It cover, and my backyard is small. So it covers like the entire backyard, the tree. And um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take some pictures and send them over to this trucker's life. He said that he's worked in that field uh, a long time before he started cutting, I mean, driving trucks. So he'll give me um, his idea, his perspective on what I can do for my garden. You know, I bought all those garden hats. <laughs> I bought the garden hats as well as I got all my seeds. And yeah, I got all my seeds. I bought the dirt. I got my pots ready because I wasn't going to have an in ground. Um, I wanted to have an above ground garden you know in my pots i see that um a good friend over there on facebook um ella gambles she gave me an idea she, her i understand that her mom is a great gardener but um i saw ella's pictures and on facebook and she had her garden above ground as well and she had them sitting on those black crates well i went out looking for some black crates after i saw her picture but i was unable to locate any so um <clears throat> probably have to wait closer to when it's time that school is going to resume uh you know like in august they probably have a lot of crates available and um so i do have some benches that i need to repair uh there for outdoor benches so i may put my crates my uh garden pots on that um so it's crazy i want a garden but i don't want to mess up the lawn i have no um place really where i can 
put my garden and I really don't want to mess up my patio either. You know what I mean? I don't want, uh, so do I really want a garden? That's the question. <laughs> what am I going to do? Okay. You know, um, so we'll see, you know, I hope that uh, this trucker's life can give me some recommendation as well. Um, I, so today, my day is just going to be editing, editing and um, posting new videos. I got some great recipes. Like I said, this this next video that I'm posting and I should it should be up with the next couple hours. Um, it is, I dedicated this um, video to Laura Zapparelli. Yeah, I said that right, right. Zapparelli, yes. I dedicated to Laura Zapparelli. So um, in the future, though, I may not, I'm, I'm making a lot of changes. So instead of dedicating the videos to um, individuals that have made an impact in my life, I think what I'm going to do is use comments like the comment here where Clarice is saying congratulations to all the 2020 class. Okay, so that will be, I will lift this here and put it in my videos. Technology will allow you to do that. So I may lift uh, certain comments. So hopefully you'll comment a little more. And whatever your comment, I may like your comment enough to put it in my video. Yeah. So that's one of the changes. Now, at the end of today, you know what I do? I go over and follow my daughter, 3LLA.T. I saw her out here earlier. Um, today, where is she? Let me see. I think she said good morning to everyone. Yeah, there she is. Good morning. Good morning. So at the end of the video, I go over to YouTube and join her. Um, right now, now, um, her topic yesterday was, um, was it yesterday? Yesterday, it was about writing and always something that we need to um be sharpened with our writing techniques and skills. So um, I'm not sure what she's, I think she's, because she writes for a the economic newsletter. So um, she was using her research to create. Now last week she was doing the research. She was reading articles, reviewing them, how the economy is affecting us. And she was breaking it down into categories such as education and military and those areas. So now she's getting ready. She has her all her information. She's getting ready to put it um, in the newsletter. So she has to create her um, columns and um, different areas. So she may have um, several. She may have a couple of different columns, actually, but she's working on that now. So she's going to be talking about the technique that she uses to create her columns, her writing technique. Let me put that in the. Yeah, sure. Yeah, writing is something that we should always stay sharp on. Um, I can recall reading, uh, and I'm no expert on English matters, grammar, spelling, and the, because of spell check, I have my grammar has weakened. However, it's important to stay sharp on your writing skills so that you can communicate well. Um, I remember times where people would um, write. Um, I would have to review what people wrote. That's what I'm saying. I had a job once that I would review what people wrote. It wasn't real detailed. It wasn't like I was reviewing for um, a presentation or whatever, but I would review. So it was amazing how people write. They would write a whole paragraph using one sentence. It was like amazing. A whole paragraph. It would be the one sentence. So it's always good. That's so what I'm saying. How can you 
some people, I don't know. That's all I'm going to say. Yeah, let's sharpen up our writing techniques. Oh, we did this yesterday. What happened there? On that, I don't know. There, it posted. I think there must be some type of delay. I haven't seen my cousin out here. Debbie Von Zonk. She had she she wasn't out she wasn't out here this morning or did I miss her? She's normally out here. I just posted Ella's link on um, Facebook. Okay, so we have it on YouTube. She generally comes on about eight o'clock. Support her. She's a young um, college student that is currently completing her master's, um, preparing for her. PhD and oh there you are I, you heard me talk you heard me talk you up wait a minute what's going on Clarice is saying goodbye everyone I have to leave see you later this evening all right Clarice share the screen with me this evening okay share the screen with me and you be safe okay and um thank you for all you do Clarice I appreciate you Debbie saying, good morning, everyone. Now, Debbie, you heard me talking about you, didn't you? You decided to come on out. Uh-huh. That's how it goes. That's how it goes. Yeah. So, um, I posted the link for 3LLA.T. Want to let you guys know what I'm drinking this morning. I know I got to let these things go. They are addictive. This is ice sparkling water. Got the orange mango. Can you see that? Yeah, there it is. Orange mango. Yeah. I don't know what I'm going to have for breakfast this morning. Mm. I have so much food in my refrigerator from doing all the cooking videos <laughs> that I'm like, okay. Mm. I got to slow up on the cooking videos for a minute. So otherwise the food's going to go to waste. I got to either freeze it or something, you know? Yeah, some great videos out there. I hope you guys enjoy them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close out now. I've been out here, not quite an hour, but, you know, it was late getting on and it's almost 8 o'clock. I got on at 7.05. Uh, just trying to get the lighting right, you know, all that, all that stuff. Okay. Um, but I hope you join me over at 3LLA.T. I dropped the link for you both on YouTube and Facebook. Okay. So if I don't see you over there, remember I come on at 735 this evening. I may or may not send a notification. I'm finishing up editing the video that I dedicated to Laura. I hope you guys enjoyed it's a recipe then i will um you just woke up and while tuning in i heard you say my name <laughs> yes so then i'm going to finish uh start editing another video so i can drop that tomorrow morning and then um i will hmm, i will um be out here at 7 35. if you miss me at 7 35 catch me tomorrow wednesday same time 7, 7 a.m. Okay, getting that grind in. I appreciate everybody coming out supporting me. Um, trying to get that, um, those public watch hours. Okay, you'll see me a little later. All right, now Debbie, catch my video, it's coming out, it should be up by 10 a.m. All righty, then. All right, everything runs smoothly, it should be up by 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. That's 11 a.m. your time. All righty, then. That's enough about that. I'll see you guys. Enjoy your day. I love you guys. Peace. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Share, comment, and what? Hit that like button. I got to get that in now. I got to get that in. I love you guys. Bye now. You guys make me smile. You make me